everyone. Welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. In last week's episode, we wrapped up a three-part series on the integumentary system. If you want to see those videos right now, the links are down below. For the next nine videos, we're going to be looking at the skeletal system. To help better understand the skeletal system, we will be using this cheap plastic model of a skeleton. This will help us locate all the bones in the human body. Here, Sean, can you take this? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Professor. Where should I put this? Well, there's a string attached to the skull, so you might be able to hang it up somewhere where people can see it. Uh, all right. Oh, oh there we go. No! Down. Well, that's too high. Hey, cooperate. <sighs> Alright. Now that that's been taken care of, let's talk about the skeletal system. I'm sure that everyone has seen a skeleton, but what does bone look like under a microscope? Oh, I'll show you. See, this is what bone tissue looks like under a microscope. Bone tissue is also known as connective tissue. The skeletal system is divided into two parts, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton contains the skull, vertebral column, and the rib cage. The appendicular skeleton contains the arms, legs, hands, feet, pelvic girdle, and pectoral girdle. For today's episode, we're going to be discussing about the skull. It's pretty obvious where the skull is located. It is just above the shoulders and is connected to the vertebral column. Here we have a replica of an actual human skull. As you can see, the skull is relatively large. The top portion of the skull is known as the cranium. This protects your brain, which is inside the skull. Don't worry about the brain right now. We'll be learning more about the nervous system after we finish discussing about the muscular system. So, you're going to have to wait a while. The front part of the skull is the face. The jawbone, which is below the cranium, is called the mandible. Let's take a look at these different parts of the cranium. Yeah, believe it or not, the cranium is made of several different bones. The front of the cranium is called the frontal bone. The sides of the skull are called the parietal bones. The back of the cranium is known as the occipital bone. Do you see this area along the sides? This is where your ears should be. This portion of the skull is known as the temporal bone. Let's now look at the bones that make up your face. The section of the skull that would make up the area around your eyes is called the ethmoid bone. This bone right here is known as the nasal bone. This is where the nose is located. The bone on the bottom of the nasal bone is called the vomer. The bone inside the nasal bone is called the nasal septum. The bone above the mandible is called the maxilla. This makes up the top portion of the jaw. You may have noticed on the skull that the area that's supposed to be where your nose should be is hollow. Why is that? Well, it's because your nose is made of a different substance, and that substance is called cartilage. When a person dies, their bones are left behind. However, with cartilage, cartilage rots away and completely disappears. Thus, no cartilage. Before we leave the skull, there's one more thing we should look at. Did you happen to notice some little strange lines on the top portion of the skull? What were they? It's very simple. Those lines are called sutures. The suture going along the top of the skull is called the sagittal suture. The sutures along the back are called the lamboid suture. Well, now you know the different parts of the skull. Let's go over a quick review. You 
Your skeleton is divided into two sections. They are the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton contains your skull, your rib cage, and your vertebral column. Your appendicular skeleton contains your limbs, which are your arms, your hands, your feet, and your legs. The appendicular skeleton also contains your pelvic and pectoral girdle. The cranium has the frontal bone, parietal bones, occipital bone, and temporal bone. The face contains the nasal bone, vomer, nasal septum, maxilla, and ethmoid bone. The lines on the top of the skull are known as sutures. There are two in particular that you need to remember. The first one is the sagittal suture, and the second is the lamboid suture. And just like that, we are finished with part one Hey, wait skeletons. a minute, we forgot something. What? What did we forget? What did we forget? We forgot to discuss about the teeth. Oh, you're right. Well, let's discuss about it in next week's episode. So be sure to tune in next week, because we'll be looking at teeth. Before you go, be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out Sean's Google Plus page, Twitter, Facebook, and Keek. The links are all down below. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning. Yeah.